Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I'm Rex. Nope. Oh, that's pretty good. Screen. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, it was like, it was like. Top left corner. I mean, it's kidding there. So we're at Whiskey Friday, and we're at Whiskey Friday. We're gonna go through and get first impressions on several different whiskeys. Uh, these aren't necessarily large brands. More often than not, these are going to be your smaller craft distilleries without a lot of distribution. If you should be so lucky as to get your hands on any of these whiskeys, you're welcome for the review. And thank you to the magnificent bastards that sent the whiskey. So, uh, just to confirm, are any of these large brands? No. I didn't think so. All right. So, these, uh, there's two today from William Shepard, where he officially crosses the threshold into patron saints. William Shepard. You patron saint of whiskey. He brought the ceremonial beads. Okay, so. You see the beads? Wait, this one says Rex Williams. This is Daniel Whittington. Okay. This one said Magnificent Bastard. Yes. And this one says, Benevolent Bastard. All right. Oh, nice. Hey, you, we got treats. You put that. It's okay. ceremonial. So, here's the thing. Yes. I need you to sparkle with all your heart. <laughs> That's not sparkling. By the time Dan's done, it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just, I just was, I saw our plaque back there. I was reminded that what we need more of is sparkle. Especially on a day like today. <laughs> was that not enough? Yeah, it was fine. Ah! Oh, it's fine. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, this is Canadian whiskey. Okay. Or not, uh, premium Canadian whiskey. Oh, premium. That's a different thing entirely. Yeah, so they imported Canadian whiskey. Okay. Rose City Distilling Company. Okay. Right? Which is... Um, Where are they? They're in Oregon, like Oregon Port, yeah. but they're not actually in, uh, it used to be Indio Spirits. So they basically, there's this place, this uh, Snake River Stampede is a really famous rodeo. You keep saying names. <laughs> Look, Snake River Stampede <laughs> okay. is a right. really famous rodeo. Okay. They worked with Rose City to create a whiskey with their name on it. Okay. Contract and, distilling. And they like Canadian whiskey, so they brought in some Canadian. They sourced in Canadian whiskey. So what we're getting is four to eight year old Canadian whiskey, yep. aged in bourbon, bourbon barrels, finished in sherry casks for six months. So, absolutely, undeniably, Canadian on the nose. Yeah. But there is this a- is really bothering There's me. a little bit of, I don't know, there's a little bit of like heft to those Canadian flavors. That Maybe doesn't lead me. It doesn't lead me to believe that this is just super like phoned in budget. Well, it's eighty proof. Yeah. Well, I'm saying like the actual like the sourcing though. I think yeah. the 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 aging and the finishing. I think that added some layers to this. To where as recognizable as it is as just what you would expect from name any giant Canadian whiskey brand. Right. There are mm -hmm. some little layers to keep it a little bit more interesting than that. At least from the nose so far. Must be the sherry. Okay. That, yeah, that could be it. Ooh, that's sweet. That is so vanilla. Wow. So fruit, vanilla, candy, sweet. It almost tastes flavored. Yeah, that is incredibly. But to, here's the thing. If you like that note though, mm -hmm. that vanilla is, it's like a really creamy vanilla. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I, here's, here's the thing with Canadian whiskey. Because this the classic flavors that we in the States associate with Canadian whiskey. We so often have these flavors with like cheap budgety things. Right. Have like a metallic and it'll be, you know, like proof down. We associate really it with flavoring. We associate it with flavoring. We also associate it with budget. Mm -hmm. And I think all together, that's not, you know, it's not an offensive flavor. I kind of like the flavor. It's just there's been so many associations and reference points that have been a little disappointing. I, this very classic Canadian, like the vanilla, caramel, really sweet type of flavor. All right. It's it's that I'm trying really hard not to associate it with past more budgety letdowns that I've yeah. had before. But there's like a creamy quality to it that that's you no know, that's special. And I don't I'm 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 not hating this. I'm not mm. disappointed by it. I am not a fan. No, no, no. I'm not disappointed by it because the things that I usually find lacking with a lot of the Canadians that offer that central core flavor of right. vanilla I'm not finding those pitfalls in this so far. Okay, I see what you mean. It's not paper thin. 
It's not. It yeah. is a little bit bitter at the end, even with the sweetness. Okay. There's an aftertaste of slight bitterness. That reminds me of aspartame. Like oh, Diet Coke aspartame. or Diet, Diet Pepper. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily call that bitter. Yeah, I don't know but what But I say that... like the artificial sugary yeah. after, aftertaste that's there. But do we know the price on this? Do we know the price point? No. I'm trying to figure out what curve to grade it nah, on. Nah, probably not that expensive. Okay. All right, move forward. So I'm not in love with it, First but impressions. it's it's uh, it didn't basically give me pause for concern the way a lot of source Canadians have given me pause for concern in the past. But this is very very Canadian. This though. This is Stein in Joseph, Oregon. Yeah. And only they also have a tasting room in Portland, which yeah. was a weird confusion trying to figure out where it was made. Um, they're practically in Idaho. Joseph, Oregon is like right next to Idaho, okay. far eastern Oregon. Okay. Stein Distillery, I don't know anything about this whatsoever yeah. other than that it's two-year-old rye. Yep. Are you ready? Yes. Well, I mean... Ah! Wait, I gave you one. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. What are you doing? I don't know. I'm acting like I didn't give I'll keep you track of all your wheelings and dealings. <laughs> can't keep tabs on the things that are happening right in front of me. <laughs> I was making way too convoluted of a point about Canadian whiskey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can't keep track of that. That's my this. job. <laughs> Stay in your lane, Rex. <laughs> it's really an eight second point. I'm going to go on about it for two or three minutes. You expect me to do that and keep up with this? For clarity purposes. <laughs> All right. That is, it's like I'm in um, like, a, like a budget bourbon territory with these flavors. Yeah, but there's a candy note behind that funk, that rye herbal funk. I'm getting it like a, a rye and a sweet tea mm -hmm. and like um, like an herbal honey. Yeah, it is extremely like going to a southern diner and asking for sweet tea. Mm -hmm. And where you get it, where you can see the layer of sugar in the bottom of the glass. Oh, you know. Then I get some uh, little cinnamon on the taste there. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. It's obviously a low proof. What do we got here? Forty percent ABV. Yep. Yeah, it's okay. Eh, it's not bad. It's yeah. I can't say glowing things about it because you could get for the money probably a really budget like a bullet and it would be more complex. I think there's any number of whiskeys that are going to deliver these very um, very similar flavors, very same flavors. This is not coloring outside the lines of bourbon. Mm -hmm. There's also I think a general thinness all around to all of the flavors that we were describing. Uh, that probably has a lot to do with the proof, but. Um, yeah, it's not offensive. Okay. It's, just, it's, just, it's, not it's got all the typical, stereotypical rye notes, but it's a little sweeter. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so this is another and then, rye. And then there is there is like a craft granola mixed in with that too. Yeah, I could see that. Okay. Um, this is also from patron saint Garrett Rain. Garrett Rain, your patron saint of whiskey. Turning around. How are you supposed to maintain, like, how do the ballerinas and stuff who spin so fast they're a blur? Right. Not just immediately fall over. You know why? Why? Because it's the head technique. You ever watch them? Yeah, they, they spin. They do the wrap. Whip it yeah, around. Yeah, but I've tried that and it doesn't they whip work. Whip it around. They whip it around. It doesn't work. They whip it around. I'm not no, getting dizzy. No, I'm trying. <laughs> You're already getting dizzy? I am already getting dizzy. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, remember we had, we talked about David Lee because the other day we tried a spirit that his distillery made for somebody else no, and it you, was for the family. You got to, where's the? Uh, I have two. Get to, I, it was for the Overholt family. This is mine now. Okay, no, it stays here. <laughs> it was for the Overholt family. Remember the over the original Overholt family? That was my knife. Uh -huh. It was an adorable little cute baby knife. You can have it if you get it. No. There we go. It's... <laughs> Abdic like, abdicating your knife. I'm just gonna call Brandy and have her get it out of your jeans for me. <laughs> okay, so this is the company that made the Overholt whiskey, you know, that they talked about, Old Farm. Remember Old Farm? Yes, yeah. it's not Old Overholt, but the family the that family started that, yeah. it. And then they started a relatively new whiskey thing. Right. Okay. This is from the actual distillery, David E. And okay. it's Pennsylvania rye. Okay. 86% rye, 14% malted barley. So it's only rye and barley. This is, by the way, three years old. I'm really liking the smell on this, it's, but it's, it's herbal. barnyard herbal yes. mixed with that same black tea. All of those, yes. More so herbal 
but you feel like you're on a farm with the herbal, yeah. the agricultural herbal, and then there's like you can a smell the dust. Yeah, and I don't imagine that's an amazingly high proof. You know what? It's surprising on Ooh. the nose, at least. It's a 47% ABV. Taste it. It tastes like an herbal hard candy. That's wild. Oh, that's unique. Oh, and then I think the tea quality shows up even more on the taste. Yeah. Yeah. You know what it is? That's what it is. Mm. It's getting one of those herbal hot teas from like a celestial seasoning. Okay. Right? But yeah. it's a, based on a black tea. Yeah. And then with all these spices and things in it. Yeah. And then you sweeten it up and make it cold. Okay. Instead of hot tea. Yeah, yeah. I actually, this, this is a fairly unique combination of flavors. Ooh. I've had them before, but in this specific combination and layering. It's really bitter. It's pretty unique. It, bitter? Try another sip. Okay. So and you spread get, it so around a little bit. You've acclimated to things and yeah. now you're going in a second time. Yeah. Spread it around and then swallow and it gets really tannic. No, it's fine for me. Yeah. There's this weird little like dry barrel zing. N what I experienced end. at the first approach of the glass, mm -hmm. uh, I'm still experiencing on the taste. I like it. It's, it's unique in terms of dry. That, that character of herbalness mm -hmm. with that farm agricultural angle and yeah. then there's like that tea quality. The tea quality shows up even more so on the nose. I like it. I don't, I'm not in love with it. I'm not flipping right. out, but I actually like yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, this last one is from the Devin and Brittany Ogle, Magnificent Bastards. Devin and Brittany Ogle, you magnificent bastards. Okay. This is Ozark whiskey. I like the Ozarks, man. From Missouri. I like. I lived there. I, I think I said this before. I lived in Springfield, Missouri. For yeah. Like a year and a half when I was a kid. So this is by Lake Ozark. Mm hmm right yeah um which i've driven through there and is hauntingly beautiful can i this is can i shout out silver dollar city yeah <laughs> yeah or branson no i'm not gonna shout out branson yeah silver dollar is better it has more like activity whereas branson's like already half asleep <laughs> at all times well it's all right it's like vegas for the retirees yeah yeah well, at least it was when i was a kid it may have evolved over no the years, no but. no i was there like only five or six years ago okay it's the same <laughs> okay so i'm still bitter about it i'm so bitter <laughs> i'm still no i have no joke it was the first vacation i had taken in my whole life right as an adult and why did you I, go because my mom's redneck side of the family wanted to do a family reunion in yeah. branson missouri yeah and so we went there and then I just bookended it with some time so I'd have some time, yeah. but I was stuck in Branson. Okay. And I still think that the correct ratio of putt-putt courses to human beings yeah. is one to 200,000 people, <laughs> right? One, any more than one to 200,000. Putt-putts as far as the eye can the, see. Yeah, that's Branson. <laughs> it's like a one to three ratio yeah. of putt-putt courses in Branson. <laughs> anyway, my I, boys thought I, it was heaven. So if you can imagine a place where like the heavy hitters, when I was a kid at least, it was Yakov oh, yeah. Shmirnov. He's, he's still there. Yakov Shmirnov. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then it was uh, the Moon River guy. Yeah. Who was it? Uh, William something something Williams? Anyway, they're all still there. Okay. They're all still Wait, there. He was ancient when I was a No, kid. as a matter of fact, most of them have died, but they've animated their corpses. <laughs> Just like when you went to Chuck E. Cheese. That's such, the, such and, a Branson move. Yeah. <laughs> you remember Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah. You have the bears on the stage. They're like that now. <laughs> right. They're dead. They're embalmed. <laughs> Wait, but they're still about, doing all the come movements. Come to think about it, they were pretty terrifying. <laughs> like these giant <laughs> right? creatures singing you songs robotically. But I ate pizza in front of them many times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's just some like, you know, fifteen-year-old pimple-faced kid pushing a button. He was like hating oh, his life again, and all the kids. Are, yeah. Go clean up. I lost something in the ball pit. I'm like, oh God. God. That is a petri dish. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Ball pit. Anyway. <laughs> Ozark whiskey. Oh yeah. Hey. So this is one to two year old bourbon. I I kinda really like the nose. From Dave Huffman, is the owner of Ozark Distillery, mm -hmm. Lake Ozark. This is a weeded bourbon. This is there's like a sh so wow, what is it? Uh, can I say tea again? And cherry. Tea, yeah, okay, there's some natural cherry, not maraschino. No, natural, natural. cherry with the tea. It smells very soft. Soft, and then there's like um, some baking spice that's balanced in there nicely, at least on the nose. Wow, okay. 
Oh. Definitely sweet tea. I'm doubling down on the baking spice though. Mm-hmm. But it's got complexity. There's some cinnamon. And it doesn't taste as new as I thought it would. Some cinnamon, some honey granola, some nutmeg maybe. Yeah, it's very much fall. Oh. And then you finish with like a lovely vanilla note. Yeah, it's definitely fall. Oh. It's like a, a bourbon for fall. That's really nice. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Damn Ozarks. Damn Ozarks. No, but it's Silver, Silver Dollar City though. I've never, never been. I don't really like rides. <sighs> Just what? Look, you're only <laughs> alive on this planet for like a limited window of time. No, if I'm for you to not enjoy things that are objectively no. enjoyable no. by everyone. No. Okay, I want I want life risking things where I'm in control. <laughs> no, I know, but that but it feel it's fake life risking. Which is the like point. Your body That's exactly feels like you're going to point. die. Exactly the no, point. No, no. I do that by jumping off of a cliff or rock climbing on overhangs or mountain biking. Like I want actual risk. Okay. So one, uh, do you have ropes? Yeah. Do you wear a helmet on the bike? Uh, yeah. And then the other thing you said. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see you do ropes and a helmet, even while rock climbing, and come out okay. I do it all day. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Air day. Air day. Here's said, the fighting, stealing, and drinking. Said Branson. <laughs> if you fight me, fight for a friend. Steal, but you steal your liver, sir. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us.